There's growing support for a Muslim cleric from East London who's been threatened for his views on evolution. Dr. Usama Hassan caused outrage among some traditionalists after saying that the theory of evolution could be compatible with Islam. Now, an open letter to a national newspaper has been signed by leading Muslim organisations supporting him, as Matthew Morris reports. In a letter to the Guardian newspaper, leading Muslim groups have stepped into this row, calling for a free exchange of ideas, rigorous debate, stating that we cannot allow people to promote acts of violence against opinions they disagree with. Have we descended from apes? Yes or no? That, that, that's what evolution theory yes says. Yes. No, no. Yes, Osama Hassan is a university lecturer and imam at a mosque in Leighton, East London. He recently tried to discuss whether Darwin's theory of evolution is compatible with Islam. He says he received death threats as a result and has now apologised. Police are investigating a claim of religious harassment against him. I've retracted that um, attempt to reconcile evolution with the Quran and uh, as I said, if and when the religious scholars um, are ready for a debate, then, then, then you know, we, we may go into it. A YouTube video of him back in January hints at the level of anger he faced. He was asked, does he think man is descended from apes, a concept offensive to many Muslims? Sit down, Molat. Molat. I said yes already. Also on YouTube, a Londoner called Abu Zubair, who appears to condemn Dr. Hassan as an apostate, a crime punishable by death according to some interpretations of Islam. And this is also mockery of the Quranic belief which render Osama Hassan apostate from Islam. He also quotes from a fatwa issued by a foreign cleric calling for proponents of evolution to be executed. He should be stopped by any means necessary, even if it means his execution. He says he is quoting the fatwa for information purposes only. We spoke to him on the phone this afternoon. He said he regrets making the video, does not condone violence and that threats have now been made against him. A Facebook campaign to support Usama Hassan now has over a thousand members. He says he wants to withdraw from the argument, but the argument may well rumble on. Matthew Morris, BBC London.